Michelle, Ricky's recovery is amazing. When you see how severe his injuries are, the images heartbreaking and disturbing. The rubber band around his mouth cutting to the bone. Investigators now trying to find the person responsible for this cruel case. Okay. Lots of love for Dr. Cynthia Kinney from a canine who nearly lost his life after someone bound his mouth with a rubber band. One of the most severe um, injuries like this that I've seen, very badly infected uh, wounds, a rubber band penetrated all the way through and basically cut through all the tissue of uh, Ricky's muzzle. Very, very bad. <laughs> The one-year-old poodle, Kinney is named Ricky, was found on Amador Avenue in Ontario Saturday night. No tag, no collar, no microchip. Only that rubber band embedded around his muzzle. He was rushed to the Inland Valley Humane Society for treatment. Pictures of his wounds are difficult to see. The rubber band, which was wrapped around his mouth two times and likely on for weeks, cutting through to the bone. He has three layers of stitches. Um, there's a deep layer, a middle layer, and then the layer that you see. Um, and probably, I don't know, 60 or 70 sutures that were placed. The surgery taking more than an hour. She says the young pup was in severe pain and starving to death. The Inland Valley Humane Society now investigating this horrific case of animal cruelty and desperately trying to track down his owner. Kinney says someone likely put the rubber band on Ricky to stop him from barking or chewing on things. A cruel act this sweet canine didn't deserve. Kinney promising him a better life and his abuser full prosecution. We are getting more and more aggressive with prosecution of these cases and we're watching people very carefully and this is where we will not tolerate it. The good news tonight, Dr. Kinney says Ricky is in stable condition and doing well, but it will still be several weeks before he's put up for adoption. You can help with his recovery by helping the Inland Valley Humane Society.